We're still driving. As you can imagine, I'm doing this all back to back. We're still driving to Blenheim from Kaikoura. More on that later. Um, but yeah, we've run out of computer. Uh, our computer has expired, so we're doing a bit of a uh, vlog update. So we got as far as retaining Matt Hamilton, so um, that we carry on with our, uh, with our vlog. So the next day uh, after we got back from Taupo was the 7th, 7th of January. And um, oh no, I tell a lie, it was the 6th, 6th of January. I've got my notes here, but it is my notes. Can I zoom in? Can you see the notes? Uh, I'm struggling to move. No, you can't see the notes, that's good. But the. Um, hello, we've got a bit of a detail going on here. Um, the 6th, uh, particularly interesting day. We had a bit of a chill that morning, it'd been a busy couple of days, but. Um, John and I did. Sorry. What's going on here, Leah? Okay. Oh, well, it's a good track thing. <laughs> The signing is uh, dubious. There we go. Okay, well, there we go. We're all good. Oh, look at this. this is <laughs> okay, well, it looks like New Zealand. They're happy for the road to actually just disappear completely. We're on a So, anyway, back to the blog. The 6th, uh, yeah, we're on the 6th. Um, we had a chill that morning, but in the afternoon, John and I went sailing on their laser, which was uh, really cool. I've never done any sailing before, uh, not properly anyway. Um, I've done lots of sailing where I was just a passenger sailing, and uh, you know I'm quite familiar with a lot of how this stuff works. But in, in terms of actually doing the sailing, being in charge, I've never done that before. And John and I went out for a couple of hours. Um, whoa, this is noisy and bumpy. Bloody hell! It's a very, it's a weird place to be doing a lot of road work. Okay, I'll, I'll continue once we get onto the road. Just coming up here, and there we go. Right, so uh, yeah, John and I went out onto a little uh, lake near where he is, um, and they um, we went out and we went out for a couple of hours. And John showed me the ropes, so to speak. He um, he basically, well, I, I I was a bit. It was only a two-man little laser, and it was just about big enough, just about big enough for the two of us to be on there. And then we, uh, he, I, I took charge of the rudder. Which is interesting. The first time, the first time we tacked, um, I I think I, I got myself into a bit of a muddle and I completely let go of everything and we almost we almost well in the went, went in the water. Which I remember John's face particularly. His his words were, "Whoa, we might not recover from this one." And uh, thankfully we did. But then later on. I got much better actually at the steering, and then I took charge of the sail, and I got a hang of the sail. And then later on, uh, towards the end, I took charge of both sail and steering. And on my first tack, um, everything went perfectly apart from I forgot to switch sides of the boat. And uh, yeah, I fell in. Uh, unsurprisingly, I was on the bottom end of the boat whilst the boat was leaning towards me, and I fell in. Um, John. Um, it's worth mentioning that John didn't. I fell in. I was very wet. John uh, pulled what he called a dry capsize, which apparently is an advanced technique. Um, but he managed to stay dry, scampering all over the boat whilst I fell in the water, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, we had a couple of hours of that. Uh, that was great fun. Meanwhile, Leanne, what were you doing whilst I was sailing? Uh, I was baking cakes. Oh, what else were you doing? Yeah. Who were you baking cakes with? Uh, Naomi and Daisy. Ah, what kind of cakes were they? Nice, and I can tell you, they were very yummy. You very cakes, butter icing, sprinkles, all the good stuff. Uh, anything you want to say about that little afternoon of baking cakes? No, other than it was lovely. I had a lovely time. Nice. Yeah, so we had a pretty chilled out day. That was a six. That was a day after we did our big journey. So that was a pretty, pretty chilled out day all in all. Um, and we, uh, did we did, oh, that night I forgot. That night, that was the night we went out for dinner. Uh, do you remember where we went? The Narrows Landing. Uh, what's it called? The Narrows Landing. Narrows Landing, there we go. And it was just uh, uh, John and Naomi, or John's mum actually, June and Tim, they babysat and we went out just the four of us and it was really nice. We had, um, I'll send back around again so you can have a view of the, the road. It was very there. yummy. It was very yummy. It was um, a nice two course meal. We had some starters and afterwards and dessert. We were, we were going to have dessert when we got home and we didn't be in the end. We we had, uh, yeah, it was a great meal. It was very nice. Got to go, to go up for the four of us. Little Daisy's amazing, but uh, it was nice to have a little bit of time away from just the four of us. And uh, yeah, that kind of brought that day to an end. But that was that was a really nice way to end that day, actually. Really, really nice. And on the next day, we ah yes. Well, I'll save the next day for the next blog entry. But that was in the. You, you missed the star, Daisy. Ah. 
In fact, I've missed the stargazing completely, pretty much the whole of the time we went. I'm going to turn around for this. So pretty much the whole of the time we were in uh, Cambridge, which is where J June and Tim live, um, who have a lovely house, by the way. That is worth mentioning. Their house is lush. It's got a big pool at the back. Um, nice and big open plan. This is it's done in Italian style, apparently, which you can kind of see from looking at it. But they've got the whole time we were there, the uh, we had the clearest skies and we could see some amazing stars. I took some photos, which came out okay. My camera isn't, doesn't quite have a long enough exposure time to do a real, uh, really good photo, but the wide angle lenses work well. And um, yeah, we got some amazing stargazing going on there. You can see the Milky Way, and you can see a second uh, galaxy, which we're not entirely sure what that is, but you can spot it nevertheless. It was it was impressive. Anything else you want to put on that, Leanne? No, I'll be happy. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, probably going to sign off from there then. See you in a few minutes. Bye!